Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth again, and today I wanted to talk to you about um, some potential safety hazards and health hazards to look for um, when purchasing a home and just things to take into consideration. Um, you know, I always recommend that people get a home inspection and the home inspector is going to look for a lot of these. Um, however, there are some inspections, um, you know, something comes up on that home inspection, you may want to do further evaluation of things. Um, so one of them is looking for, um, if your house is over the nine, older than 1978, um, you know, back then, uh, prior to that, the big thing was lead-based paint. Um, you know, a lot of my clients are like, eh, it's been repainted, it's not a big deal, um, as long as you're not eating the paint. Um, and, you know, just keep it in mind, if you are remodeling and stuff, you do have to um, take care when um, you're messing with that paint. Um, asbestos is another issue, another concern. Um, again, Typically, most people, unless you're, um, you know, removing it, not a huge deal, but, um, you know, like to point it out. Um, and then you get into kind of more common things where it's um, just your cracks and structural integrity of the house. Um, some areas have a lot of issues with the foundation um, and, you know, you want to make sure your foundation is level. Um, another th common thing is electrical hazards. Um, it, you know, codes change over the years and, um, you know, now we have GFCIs all over. Um, however, you know, if the house is a little bit older, you may not have them in certain areas. Um, <clears throat> you know, the owner doesn't have to upgrade everything to the current standards. However, you know, it's something that you can certainly ask for or just keep in mind once you move in, you may want to do it. Um, there's also rodent and insect infestation. Um, you know, most lenders are going to require that you get a um, wood destroying inspect inspection done. Um, you're looking for all sorts of things. Um, you know, common thing is uh, rotten wood, but you also have your termites. Um, there's carpenter bees, ants, um, rodents, all sorts of things. I've seen where there's got bats, squirrels, things in the attics. Um, but just obviously you don't want any of the critters in your house. Um, and it is something where sometimes they do get in the attic and you may or may not know it for a while. And um, they do leave some little presents for you, which isn't ideal to have in your house. So um, I've actually seen where people have had bats in their attics as well, um, and it's never a good thing. Um, I think I mentioned asbestos, lead-based paint, uh, dangerous gases as well. Um, you know, nowadays there's a lot of people that have natural gas in their house, so you got to worry about carbon monoxide. Um, so just, you know, make sure you have your smoke detectors, your carbon monoxide detectors. Um, some houses now have it where it's hooked up. Uh, through their security system and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think, I think that's basically the the main main things. Um, and we just recently put a pool in. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is if there is a pool, um, you know that is obviously a huge safety hazard. Um, so you want to make sure you're um, keeping tabs on that your fences are all good um, and you have um, alerts on your door so if anybody is getting in and out um, you'll know and especially if you have littler ones um, so but I think that is about it for safety hazard hazards health hazards to consider when purchasing a home so all right